Hey guys, okay, so we're back and we're just going to continue um, setting up our desktop and getting it just the way we, we like it. I'm just going to show you guys and give you an example how I set it up. The wonderful thing about, um, about Linux is you can change it to look however you want. You can, you know, there's so many different customizations. You can really, really change how, how you interact with your with your desktop, it's really neat. The first thing we're not we're gonna want to get in order to to really start customizing our desktop is is a program called Compiz. And I'm gonna show you how to get that in just a second here. So you want to go to the Ubuntu Software Center first. Let's give that a sec to load. As you can tell, I kind of changed my my theme. I've got the lighter theme now and the lighter bar up here, so that's kind of nice. Um, so we're just going to search Compiz, and then you're going to select Compiz Config Settings Manager, and you're going to install that. I already have it installed, but all you do is click and then put in your password, and it will install. And then after we get that done, we're going to want to open up something called the Synaptics Package Manager. Synaptics Package Manager. So just search it in there, put in your password, let that open up. You can see I have some cool animations going. I have like little beams of light and flames coming out of my windows and stuff. I'll show you guys how to set that all up in a second. But now that we're in our Synaptics Package Manager, we're just going to want to search Compiz. You're just going to look for Compiz Plugin Extras. And I. There we are, Compass Plugins Extra. So you're gonna to want to mark that. That doesn't come installed by default. You will have to install that. That'll just give you some more animations and some more um, options in your Compass Settings Manager. So you just want to right-click this, mark for installation, and then click Apply, and that will automatically download on your computer. Very slick. And then I, uh, you want to go in here and search Compass. So I searched it and I added it to my bar just by dragging and dropping. But once you got that added, just open it up. And the first thing I like to set up always is um, is my corners. I like to have corners. I'm a Mac user. I enjoy having corners. It makes me feel like I can use my uh, desktop a lot better. I can have multiple windows open and I have to be minimizing and opening up windows and moving them around a whole bunch. I can just use my corners to do most of that. So we'll just click general options this is going to be where we set our first corner key bindings and then show desktop so you click over here and you can see I have it selected to the top right one you can set it to any corner you want but I like top right so I'll click OK now if I go up to top right you can see that it clears all the windows off my desktop which is kinda nice so go back and we'll set our second corner go to expo make sure that's clicked that's checked and then we'll click on expo and expo edge so we'll select that and we'll select bottom left. So now that that's selected, we go to the bottom left and it shows our expo. And you know, the nice thing about this is you can have you know, a web browser open here. You can be writing a paper in this one. You can be listening to your music in that one. And that way you don't have to be minimizing and open, opening up windows. You can just literally just go to your corner, select, go to your other corner, select. And it just makes you know it just makes your your interaction really nice and really slick. Then we're just gonna keep heading down almost all the way to the bottom, and we're gonna select this one called Scale. You're gonna make sure that's enabled, and then you're just gonna click in there, go to Bindings, and initiate Window Picker. And I'm gonna select the bottom right for my Window Picker. Just click OK. Let's just open up Shotwell just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. We'll open up Firefox too. And you can see how well this is running. It was giving me a little bit of trouble yesterday, but it seems to just be running like a champ, and it's only running on three gigs of RAM inside VirtualBox. So on a, a half decent computer, this would just run like a beast. But you can see I go down to that one, and it shows me all my windows. So instead of have instead of having to you know click on this one or click on that one, or if you can't actually see one, all I have to do is go down to that one, select the internet, and um, that's my selected window, and I can do whatever I want. So that's um. That's what the window picker does. It's very nice, very nice to to have it enabled. But those are my three, my three must-have um, corners set up. So if you got those set up, you're good to go. Okay, Unity Unity plugin. This is really cool. 
because Unity, the one thing that a lot of people gripe about is it's not very customizable, which is true. But with this plugin, it's a bit more cu customizable than it was. You can change your panel opacity. So if you look up here, you can see now that my panel's more opaque. Um, you can change your launcher opacity. You can change your launcher icon size. So I can make my, my icons smaller. I can make them bigger. And you can just kind of set some of those some of those preferences in here. It's really neat. It's called the Ubuntu Unity plugin. So you just want to make sure that's enabled and that and then you can go in there to change all that kind of stuff. Um, you can do the desktop cube. I'll show you guys that in another video. A widget layer. I'll show you how to set that up in another video. But the last thing we're going to look at in this video is just animations. Um, if you do have the extra plugins installed, it will give you these animations, which is the cool burn animation and the beam up animation. So you want to go inside your animations, make sure they're enabled. I'm going to click on this little over arrow, or you'll just want to make it bigger. Just make it bigger, just to make it easier. Go to effects settings. And you want to select this guy. Random animations for all events because it won't be selected at first. And then you just go through and you can literally just choose whichever one you want. So when I open a window, I want it to have these four animations, or I just want it to be random all the way around. So that's what I have it set on right now. Close animations, I like beam up. Minimize animations, I have beam up and burn. So you can just kind of find out whichever animations you like and then just set your set set the ones you like and when you exit out of it, poof, does a cool, cool little animation.